All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. Welcome to the stream, everyone. Uh, thank you for the sub endless creaks. I'm so glad that finally went through. <laughs> uh, I didn't. It was just before I started recording, but I am. I'm glad you got. I'm glad we got to see it. Uh, I'm glad that it popped up, and thank you again for the sub. Uh, welcome, everyone. Uh, it's uh, it's good to see y'all. Welcome back, Echo. Uh, good to see everybody hopping in. We got a lot of folks joining us, lots of, lots of familiar faces, and we're going to be getting started here with Puma. Uh, but first of all, speaking of subs, uh, it is actually a sub September now, so Twitch does an event every year where you get, I think it's 20% off of new subscriptions, so if you guys do want to see sub uh you have the chance to do that for a little bit cheaper and uh, we do still have our sub goal going so if we get 20 subs before the end of puma's first litter then we will be bumping our second litter up to accurate so if you guys want to get in on that september is a good time to do it uh you can also sub with prime if you have an amazon prime subscription you get one free sub to uh, a creator each month so there is the chance to do that as well if you have an amazon prime subscription but first things first, because we have the achievements now, let's actually go ahead and take a look at those. Uh, we've been making some progress on them. Welcome to everybody hopping in. I will turn off the screen for now, and we will take a look at this. So we got, I think we got P marks the spot last time. We still don't have a lot of the pup ones, but we are going to be starting on those soon. Actually, we can open pup names now because we're going to probably be doing that. Uh, pup names and den names because we're going to be voting on dens in just a little bit. Um, I don't think... Don't think we got any new ones here this time. Uh, we got, yeah, we got the beaver one last, or the time before. We did get the teddy bear this time, and we also got the ranger cabin. So there's a tent here. Huh. I've never seen that tent either. <laughs> uh, unnamed pond, campsite sign, campfire ring, wagon wheel. I don't think I've actually seen any of those yet. So we'll have some things to find. Uh, and then also all of these. I don't think we'll get to see too many of these yet, except maybe home is where the heart is. We'll see. Um... But, uh, well, we'll, ha we'll have to see. We'll have to find out, um, if we get that or not. I'm not sure. Some of these may be broken for Puma because she was, or her wolf file was created before the achievements came out, but we'll see. Um, and then multiplayer, we can't get those here. We'll have to see about that one, though. That would be kind of a fun one to take on at some point. Uh, oh, I see we got some names coming in already. Oh my goodness, we already got the pup names coming in. Uh, but let's go ahead. We will hop back to the game itself. And um, we will get started. So I think the first thing we need to do is actually take a snooze. Um, Puma is pretty tired. Uh, let me catch up on chat as well. It is seven for me here. Uh, I am on the West Coast. Let's let Puma do a snooze. And uh, yeah, it's, I'm very much enjoying playing as Puma. She's she's been a very fun wolf uh, to play with. An absolutely gorgeous coat too. Like she's such a pretty wolf. She got one of the NPC coats, and it's just such a stunning one. Um, yeah, congrats on having your pack name chosen. Uh, we got lots of pup names coming in. Uh, den names as well, it looks like. Uh, thank you all for the name submissions indeed. We will be looking at those shortly. Once we've slept, we'll take a look at the territory. We'll also take a look at what den we want to choose. Maybe refine the territory a little bit, depending on that. So we've actually got, I think, five dens, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not if I'm not mistaken, I think we ended up with five on our maps. Let's see. Yeah, we do have five. So we've got they're kind of spaced around here actually. Let's see the pack territory. Nothing's actually gotten claimed over. Some of it's a little bit weaker. Uh, that's saddle meadows, I think. Slopes. There's um, lower slopes, upper slopes. There is the um, Aspen Heights, and then there's the Bison Peak Cutoff Den. So those are the ones we found. Those will be our options. I'm gonna go ahead and actually set up a poll for that. Um, so let's do that, uh, and we will choose that to start off with. Um, so we have the Saddle Meadows Den, which I believe might be the one Puma was from. I'm not sure if we can actually get the achievement for her or not, but we'll see. So then we've got the Lower Slopes. Upper slopes. I forgot to mark them, so I don't know which ones are open, which are wooded. Uh, Aspen Heights. And the Bison Peak Den. 
So a lot of these are the original ones. We're in the area of the original map, but I will go ahead and set that up and you guys can vote on that. I'll leave this here for a second. Uh, very, very good names coming in indeed. Uh, we do have to do some territory marking, but I might adjust that depending on which of these we mark. Cause you know, if we have one of the dens over here, we might not need these ones. We have one of the ones over here, might not need these ones. Kind of take a look at that. Um, yeah, we're playing as Puma. We finally jumped over to Slough Creek with her and uh, she has her mate Koji who will show in a little bit once the poll is done. Uh, I just want to keep that up. So again, the Saddle Meadows, Lower Slopes, Upper Slopes, um, Aspen Heights, and Bison Peak. Let's see the pack name. If we go to pack info, we have the Timberwood Pack. And um, oh yeah, I'll take a closer look at Puma when we jump back in. Uh, because she do be a very pretty wolf. Uh, well, we should be able to see her better in the morning light here. So I'll go do that once the poll is done. I'll just keep the map up mostly for now. Uh, welcome back, Rhonda. It's good to see you again. Uh-oh. Yeah, Twitch was wild in a little bit the last time. Um, it sometimes does that. <laughs> uh, so I'm sorry. Oh, but it looks like y'all want to see Aspen Heights. So that's the one over here. We will be headed off to that one. So, but let's go ahead and we'll take a closer look at Puma. And let me just make sure that I get my, um... I pull stuff cleared. So thank you guys all for voting. Let's go take a look at her. We can get a closer look over here and zoom in on her. She do be, and there's Koji in the background. We can take a closer look at him as well. She do be a very pretty wolf. I'm going to take a picture of her. She's just, ah, I love her fur. <laughs> she has just such, it's such a cool blend of the, the darker back, but then you have the lighter nose stripe. It's so cute. I love it. Uh, that's one of the NPC exclusive ones. So she is the daughter of Peregrine and Remus, which means that she has access to that. And then that's Koji in the background. Uh, he is her mate. He also has a very pretty coat. I don't think it's an NPC exclusive, but I do think it's one of the DLC coats, if I'm not mistaken. I'm going to take more opportunities to take pictures, y'all. I, I don't take enough pictures, <laughs> so we're going to do that more. Uh, thank you all for the name submissions. Well, I have kind of an animal theme going on, it looks like. <laughs> yes, Puma and Koji are great. Uh, they, they, they are such a good pair. She is! She's got such a gorgeous coat. Like, I absolutely love this. <laughs> I can actually compliment that because I didn't I didn't put together the um, the her looks this time, so I, this is this is all RNG. Speaking of Pumas, there's just one chillin'. Let, let's not fight Koji. Koji! <laughs> Koji tried to pick a fight with a cougar last time. <laughs> and uh, it, it scared me a little bit. So we're coming over here. We can ignore these ones probably then because we're going to want these hexes more. We might want to do a little bit of extra territory marking actually now that I think of it. There's bison over there too. Um, oh yeah! Yep, she do be about to have babies. You, you can see that. I always forget that's a thing. But yes, they, uh, they, they do show that now in the new version and it's very, very cool. Um, <laughs> uh, the name Koji was submitted, so I don't remember who submitted it, but uh, you'd have to ask them. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I, I get name submissions for y'all, so the only, the only wolves that I have named in this are our original starting three. Um, so that would be, um, that would be Peregrine and Frodo and Honey, who Rain actually helped name. <laughs> Um, those are the only ones that I've had a direct hand in naming. Uh, the rest have all been submitted by you guys. You guys have sent in names and then you guys get to vote on them. Oh yeah, we have, last time we found the teddy bear here. Uh, we've been stashing some things on the butte. And we have that there. Oh, Koji! <laughs> He's so cute! Look at these two! Oh my goodness, I love them! <laughs> so we found this. This is one of the new collectibles. Um, and we found that last time we've just been stashing them here at the view. Actually, we can take this with us though now uh, because we know what den we're going to. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we can bring that over and we'll claim some more territory after the puppies are born, I think. I just want to kind of reinforce some of the ones on the, oops, on the way over. I forgot where our scent post was. I'm used to, I don't remember which playthrough we had it on the other side. It might have been Frodo's. Um, hey. Oh yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that is, um, that is a very unique animal, uh, very fun, fun, unique animal name. It's, uh, lots of animal name submissions this time. We kind of have a theme going here <laughs> to go along with Puma. Uh, he does. Koji always looks very love struck, and it's great. He's so valid. <laughs> oh, the pups can play with these. That's right. You guys have been telling me about that. Uh, Honey's journey is once a month, and we didn't do la uh, last month. So we'll have to see that. It'll be coming up again probably pretty soon. Maybe next week. We'll see. It depends on scheduling. Uh, it depends on when both Rain and I have uh, have time on an extra day, uh, usually on a Wednesday. So we'll see. Possibly, um, possibly this week, but or this coming week. 
but uh, we'll have to see. I will add it to the Moobot schedule and the Twitch schedule when we know when that is uh, when that's happening. So keep an eye on that if you want some heads up on that. That's a bear. That's a bear. I'm gonna pee on the scent post and then leave. Um, yeah, it depends. <laughs> depends. Depends on when we all got time. Uh, we got, uh, got other other things happening, other stuff that needs doing. So we will see. Um, but definitely want to get back to it. It's been a very fun series, and I would love to uh, explore a little bit more of that. Um, yeah, you can move the scent post around. Uh, that is true. Um, I don't always. Okay, so we're going to Aspen Heights, which is I think the one that's right up here. Is that the actual Aspen Heights den? Did I find... I can't remember which of them it is, but it'll point us to it. Um, <laughs> yeah, homework uh, homework is pretty tiring. It, it definitely can be. I remember having a lot of it back in school. And that <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of thankful that I don't have it anymore. Now I, now, I, now I have other adult things to attend to, though, and uh, that be its, uh, its own thing. But yeah, homework can uh, take quite a lot of time. <laughs> um... Yeah, yeah, Koji is a very good name. Um, it, it do be a good one. It reminds me, I, there was a character in one of the games that I played on the JPlays channel that was named Koji, and that's what that always makes me think of, but apparently there's there's some other characters too that also sound very, very good. And I don't know personally, but um, some of y'all are reminded of that. Is that? That's a deer in the distance, that's not a wolf. <laughs> um, hey, welcome, welcome! Oh, that was uh, that the g rain gifted subs. I think a couple episodes back, but uh, glad you're enjoying it. Well, it's good to see you falling for dreams. Um, yeah, I'm glad you don't drop it uh, in the creek. I would be very upset if you just like lost the bear in the creek there. <laughs> that would not be fun. That would not be a good time. But let's go ahead. I'm just gonna pee on this scent post and then we'll go back to the den. I got a little bit sidetracked, but. Um, not, not too badly. And we've got some den names. Make sure to submit your den names while you can because we are going to be choosing the den very shortly. Yes, I know it's still strong. I just wanted to boost it a little bit up and make sure that uh, make sure that everything is looking good. So let's go over here. Um, we will head this way and head back to, this is the right one, I think. Yeah, the one down here is the one we're going to. I think this is actually the den back. So this is, there. there's two candidates for the Aspen Heights den. One of them is over that way, and the other one is the one over here that I think is the same den Cassia had. Um, I couldn't remember which one we had picked. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, that I think is the one over here. Um, yo, script writing does sound very, very fun. I did a single script writing class in um, in community college back when I was doing that, uh, way back a few years ago. It's been, man, I don't remember how many, it's been like, gosh, it's been like four years, hasn't it? <laughs> Every time I look back on my school years, I feel older, and that's, I mean, I'm getting older, but like, man, it's like, oh, yeah, I was just in high school. No, that was five years ago. <laughs> it's been a while. I was not just in high school anymore. That's uh, a good fifth of my life since I was in high school now, which is a very surreal thought. Um, yeah, adulthood will make find a way to make you feel old, <laughs> even when you're still fairly young. All right, here we go, though. We have our den. We'll go ahead, make sure to submit any names. Will you have the chance to? Is this? This is not the den. I'm looking at the wrong rock. Um, where is it? There'd be an eagle, I guess. Oh, it's back this way. I'm just not, not observing, not using eyes. <laughs> no, no use eyes today. Only, oh, no thoughts, head empty. <laughs> I'm a little bit tired today. Okay, here we go. This is an open den. You guys have already chosen it, so we will evaluate it and choose it here. Uh, we got some more pup names coming in. Thank you guys for submitting those. And then for the den name, let me take a quick look at what we've got. Uh, let's see if we have any of those. I think we have a few. We've only got one, so I'm going to give a little bit more time just in case anyone else wants to submit. Otherwise, I suppose that one just wins by default. <laughs> uh, but I'll give you guys a few minutes more to catch up on class. Uh, yeah, that definitely... College classes do be intense, but um, they can be very fun when you're, when you're used to that. <laughs> they're a lot of work, but they're a lot of fun. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's see. All right. Yeah, high school is also high school is also a time. <laughs> um, I remember elementary school isn't too bad. Middle school isn't too bad. 
high school gets more intense, college can be pretty dang intense, and I didn't do full college, I did community college a few classes at a time, but, uh, yeah, they, they can be more intense classes. <laughs> oh my goodness, yeah. Haven't, haven't hit the, um, the, the big 3-0 yet, <laughs> but that, that's closer than I would imagine it to be, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm not... Not quite halfway through my 20s yet, but it'll happen sooner than I'm expecting it to. Age always takes you by surprise, um, and time passes faster than you expect it to. So I guess that's a lesson to be said for living in the moment. <laughs> you wanna, you wanna appreciate even, even seasons of life that are more difficult. You definitely wanna look for the good in them because you're not gonna get that time back, and that can be both a comfort when you're in a difficult time, knowing that, you know, it's not gonna last forever. In most cases, it, you will, it will pass, you will get through it, and there will be something else on the other side of it, which can be a comforting thing, but also to be looking for the good even in the times that are more difficult, because that's gonna, that, that, that's gonna go by too, and you wanna appreciate it while, while you have it, while you're... Well, while you're living it, you want to appreciate the good in that, uh, <laughs> I've found that helps to, helps to be a little bit more. That's not to say you never, it's not to say you never acknowledge the bad, that you, that you shouldn't ever acknowledge when things are difficult, because that's not healthy either. <laughs> um, but you don't want to lose sight of what is good, even when things are a little bit tougher. Um, oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> Oh goodness, yep, yeah, we are we're coming up on um coming up on being halfway through the twenties. That I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. That's that do be a time. Also, um obligatory warning, be careful giving your age out on the internet, especially if you are a younger person. If you are under eighteen, be especially cautious with that. And uh generally don't give out your exact birthday. Um or other identifying information, because you want to be careful, because the internet do be a wild place, and not everyone here has good intentions. Alright, I'm going to be closing up the den name submission, so if anybody wants to get one in last second, that's the chance to do that. Um, otherwise, we'll be closing them up in just a bit here. Um, <laughs> I'm a little bit of a... Yeah, I I always feel it, because I... Technically, technically, my general birthday time is public knowledge, but you do still want to be kind of careful about giving out the exact um, exact details of it, especially if you are a younger person. Uh, I, I feel more okay giving out my birthday because I don't have like a lot of other public info that's available. Like my real name isn't public, but you just want to be careful what you share. <laughs> it's wise to be cautious. But I'm going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go pause here and we will submit. We have two names here. So we will choose between our den names here. Let's see, we can get up another poll. Um, what should we name our den? And we have two options. All right. And if I can spell. <laughs> All right, here we go. And I'll put that poll up. Let's see. Um, yeah, autumn is a good season. I I feel like, so winter is my favorite season, but that's coming from me being a desert dweller where that's the one time of year when the sun's not trying to kill you. <laughs> so if I go somewhere with other actual seasons, maybe that'll change. Um, we don't get actual winter, so therefore I like the coldest time of year because the sun is out to get me. <laughs> um, yes. Rain has a, a fun series as well. She is, um, she's been playing some games on her channel too, so definitely check that out if you have the chance. They are very good. <laughs> I have been enjoying them. Yeah, uh, definitely be careful and, like, never feel obligated to give out any info on the internet. Again, like, err to the side of caution. It's generally better to be cautious. Um, you don't owe anyone your, your information. Uh, and if you don't trust them, definitely don't give it to them. Um, you don't owe anyone your trust either. <laughs> uh, okay, so we it looks like we have Clover Meadow. So we're going to go ahead and naming it that. Thank you guys for the name submissions. And uh, we will go ahead and put that in. All right. So let's go with Clover Meadow. And now we're going to have puppies. <laughs> so make sure you get any, um, any pup names in soon. Oh, the other thing too, though, the other thing too is um, we are going to have to do age perks. So be thinking about what we should do for those as well. Um, 
Yeah, that was very close, Poll. Thank you for submitting the uh, channel points as well. Oh, hey, we brought a human object back to the pups. Oh, we got an achievement for that. Oh my goodness. So we can advance in age. We're always going to do that. Um, and that's one of the rules of the series is we always go up in age when we can. So we're going to go ahead and do this. We have strength, health, speed, stamina, youthful finesse, or fun parrot. These are all pretty straightforward. They just give us a plus one to whatever stat. Uh, this one gives us more likely to have a larger litter of pups. I think that applies the next year, not this one. Sick pups are more likely to recover. Competitors are more likely to flee. Oh gosh, we're probably going to have a seven pup litter, aren't we? Because we have uh, Koji was four star diversity. Um, but competitors are more likely to flee. Competitors are more frightened when you snarl and growl at them. Prospective mates are more interested in you. Hopefully we won't have to worry about that one. And more rival wolves are courtable. Hopefully we won't have to worry about that too because we have Koji. We don't want anything to happen to We don't, don't need to worry too much about that at the moment. Uh, she does. She's got just such an absolutely stunning coat. Like, man, I heckin' love her. <laughs> I heckin' love her. The, the team did such a great job on the coat designs. And this is definitely one of my favorites. Um, we also have Fun Parent, which is social play emotes, boosts pack affinity, and pups never get tired of socializing, which we did have this with Frodo, which it was pretty nice. Um, hey, Rain submitted a name too. Uh, let's see. Oh man, I'm glad you were able to move out of the desert. I very much also want to because the sun doesn't like me <laughs> and I don't like the sun too much. I would appreciate it if it chills a little bit. <laughs> Um, unfortunately for someone who was born and raised in the desert, I am very heat intolerant. <laughs> I just die every summer. <laughs> and even right now, it's, it's a little bit warm and it's like pretty late in the evening, but still pretty hot. Um, oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, eliminate one of the six and then vote for the rest on one poll and take the top three voted. That's a smart idea. Okay. Uh, so which one of these don't we think? Um, which one of these don't we think? that she would use. Is there any of these that we don't think she would take? And then we will do a poll and whichever of the other options you guys want to see, we'll take the top three there. <laughs> she doesn't look a day over one. No, she's looking pretty good. Um, ooh. Oh, that sounds like a very pretty NPC. I don't know if I've seen that one for sure or not. Stamina is high, stamina is high. Okay, that we could probably eliminate stamina. Uh, if you guys want, I'll give a little bit more time for feedback here, uh, just to see. Um, she do be very pretty. Okay, a lot of people are saying stamina, so I think we can successfully rule out stamina. So, let's see. Go ahead and set up a poll here. Um, what perks should we take? And um, I will go ahead and put the other ones in. So that would be strength, health, speed, no stamina, um, youthful prowess. It'll be fun to see more of these coming up uh, because we didn't get to see that many in the Frodo and then fun parent. All right. Um, so, and then I will also turn down the price of additional votes a little bit, um, so that if you guys, because, because basically, or for channel points at least, because we are choosing three options. So keep in mind, we're going to take the top three options, um, not the ones that we want to eliminate, or not the other, the lowest two will be eliminated, and I'll set this to a little bit of a longer poll, I'll, I'll do two minutes instead of one, so you guys have more time. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that, and I will keep an eye on the results here. Let us see. So we'll see, and we will pick the top options here, and then we will advance to age three. Um, yes, if you spend channel points, you can indeed vote for multiple. You can also spend bits if you have them. I think it's five bits of vote. Um, yeah, Youthful Prowess is nice because it helps with predators. <laughs> There's a lot of good options here. Um, I really like, again, like I've talked about this before, but I love the way they did the perk system. Uh, it's a really, really cool way of doing it. It's still having that sense of progression without making it too gamey because it very much makes sense that, you know, Wolf's attributes would change their life. Our, all of ours do. We don't stay quite the same as we were at a given, given age. 
Uh, we gain new skills. We gain new abilities. Sometimes we lose some. Um, depends on uh, depend depends on the way our lives go, and uh, it it's a cool way of showing that and still having that sense of progression and change without it just being a normal skill tree that feels very gamey in nature. So. Let's see, we got a little bit more. It looks like we have, wow, we, oh my goodness, we have, <laughs> we have a close match here. So it looks like no, not too many people interested in strength, but the other four, we've got a uh, pretty close difference of one vote between some of them. So I don't know what we will do if we, <laughs> we have it, we do have a tie. Okay. Um, definitely get your votes in while you have the chance because uh, it is very, very close. They're, they are all within like, one vote of the next one. Okay, it's pulling away a little bit more. Uh, we'll see how this goes. Oh, we're starting to see starting to see a bit more of a lead here. All right, uh, I think we may have our winners in just a few seconds. We'll know for sure. A okay, uh, I think we've got it. So looks like the top options are Fun Parent, Youthful Prowess, and Health. With Fun Parent to be having the most, twenty two votes. Holy smokes! Thank you for contributing channel points. Uh, youthful Prowess. Uh, is the second one and then health. So I will go ahead. We will choose those So fun parent youthful prowess and additional health and those will be our three perks for the year So we'll go ahead and we will advance to age three always go up in age We will have these perks for the coming year. That'll be fine. So we'll go ahead and take that um yeah, if we have a four-way tie, I don't know how we're gonna do that. Oh, six pups, too. Not not full seven, but quite a lot. Um, <laughs> yep, goodbye channel points. Thank you to everyone who submitted those, though. Uh, it definitely was quite the poll. Um, yeah, I think that worked pretty well. That was a good way of doing it. Thank you for the suggestion for that rain. Um, yeah, I'll turn it down for stuff like that. It, it'll stay higher for the ones that have the, um, the single ones, uh, but... I'll turn it down a little bit for the ones where we're choosing multiple options because Twitch doesn't let you multi vault normally. Four males and two females indeed. So let's see what they look like. We have 2M, 3M, 4M, 2F, 3F, and 5M. So let's go see what they look like. And they're in there with Koji. Oh, look at him being such a good dad. All right, let's see what these guys look like. So now four weeks old, your pups are too big for the den. As they spend their days playing outdoors, socialize with them with playful emotes to increase the affinity of your family pack. If they're playful, play with them. If they're hungry, feed them. If they stray far from the den, go find them and carry them back. Pups mostly eat meat, regurgitate by you and your mate. Soon they'll be weaned, depending on you to bring them food. You must also protect them from predators who may see a wolf pup as an easy target. Keep feeding your pups until they reach 15 pounds, then it'll be time to journey to the summertime rendezvous site. There are also quite a lot of name, sl uh, name slots. We'll take a little bit of a look at them here. And uh, you guys are still welcome to submit puppy names while we do this. Oh, there's 4M. Oh, he's got a red coat, huh? Yeah, he's got a red coat. Look at that. Oh, is that deer? That's deer. Oh, and 5M is gray. Actually, that might be that might be a black coat. Does Puma, Puma has a black coat? Yeah, all of Peregrine's puppies did. So we could we should see a mix of black and gray, I would imagine. Oh, 2F also has, I think, a black coat. <laughs> oh my goodness, these guys are so dang cute. The the puppies in this, like every time I just lose my mind, they're so cute. They're so gosh darn cute. Oh, 3F has a more reddish coat. Yeah, let's feed them as well. We do have enough food for that. Give him a little bit of extra. And 3M is more, I think, probably also has a black coat. So Koji has that reddish tint, I think. That's probably where that's coming from. But let's go ahead. We'll pause. We'll take a look at him. Uh, you guys can think of some names, potentially. They are. They're so adorable. Like, look at this. <laughs> I don't know which puppy that is in the front. Is that... That's 4M, isn't it? He's just doing a heckin' chomp. <laughs> but look at the babies. They are so sweet. I just, ah, the team did such a good job on this game. They're so cute. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Koji do a feed indeed. The black coat sometimes, yeah, they can have the white eyebrows. I think a lot of the puppies do. Yeah, I think many of them do. Uh, we should see if there is runt. That is a very good point. Thank you for that, Hogwarts streamer. Uh, it looks like, okay, possibly 2F. I'm not 100% sure but potentially 2F, um, 4.6, and the heckin' big boy, my goodness, 
5M is six pounds already. So the rents tend to be a little bit lower over, like they tend, if, it, if it's below three, it's almost certainly a rent. 4.6 could go either way, uh, but she do be the smallest. So we do have a small pup, uh, but I do not know if she's a runt. We'll probably have to wait until after to see um, if we have a runt or not. Uh, yeah, the <laughs> the, the 2.7 was a little bit, a um, little bit, a little bit less lifelike. Um, still not a bad game, like certainly I don't want to bag on that one. Again, that one was a great game, it was just a little bit limited because the original came out in 2007 and they built off the base of that game for a while before completely redoing it for World Quest 3. But the improvement is absolutely insane. Um, heck and chonker indeed. Uh oh. Oh no! I, I hope, hope hopefully your new mouse gets here soon, because having a having a hardware fa failure ain't a fun thing. Um, yeah, okay. Um, yeah, a lot of you guys are thinking 2F could be a runt, so we'll see. We will see. But uh, let's let's maybe take a look at him. Uh, so 2F is the gray one. Yeah, that's 4M who's right in the front there. 3F is back there. I think 2M is the oldest. I think, yeah. So it's... Um, 2M, 3M, 4M, the two girls, and then 5M. Uh, we had three of the boys in, the, in a row, and then the two girls, and then the last male, the, the heckin' big boy. Uh, sometimes, yeah, the puppies, I remember the puppies sinking up in the old game. That was a little bit scary. Uh, we have neutral, so we've neutralized a little bit of her health out. She won't be quite as weak. Um, but we'll have a lot of benefit, and that it will be nice. Oh, look at, look at, look at the baby has a teddy bear. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay, which puppy is this? Because I think we got. It's time to progress to naming, and uh, I think I know what one of the options for this one has to be. Who is this? This is 4M. Is he picking up the? <gasps> my favorite addition to wolf quest oh i can't even deal with it <laughs> oh my goodness that's amazing oh i love that all right so that's 4m who has the bear uh yes top tier game just just for this specifically already amazing but oh i can't you guys <laughs> All right, let's um, let's see. So, uh, if we go, there we go. We can switch between them here. Okay, let's go back to Puma. Okay, are we on Puma right now? We're on Puma right now, I think. Um, so I believe it goes in order. So this would be two M, uh, right? That's the dark pup in the center, right? Yeah, two pup, two M is the pup, dark pup in the center there. Very dark coat. Uh, I will pause here for a minute, and we'll go ahead and start looking at names. Um, oh my goodness. <gasps> oh, that, this is, I, I, I still, I cannot, you guys, I cannot. Um, but let me see, oops, I gotta get, um, uh, where, where thing, <laughs> give thing. All right, let's see. So last chance to submit puppy names, we're gonna be starting to go through them. And we have, it looks like eight of them right now. So we've still got 12 slots open. You can also submit with, um, with, uh, bits as well. I think it's 100 bits a name. But let's see. So, what have we got here? Um, let's go ahead and we'll put in our first names. And yeah, if we get, if we get, um, if you get four more, we'll have two to put in each poll indeed. Otherwise, we're gonna get some of them by default. I don't know, actually. Yeah, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll put in for, um, All right, two M and so we have more boys than girls this time. 
Um, oh, we got <laughs> we got another another very fitting name, another very fitting name here. Uh, let's see, and I think we'll go with. Hmm. We have many many animal themed names here, so oops. Goodness, that's not the number I meant to put there. <laughs> oh, we got another name coming in. A, another name. Yeah. <laughs> uh, usually, well, we have a lot of pups this time. Normally, it's been handling, like, the three to four pups pretty well. Um, but we have six of them this time, so we got to get more names in. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'll go ahead and we'll put up the first poll here for 2M. So, again, that's a dark pup in the center. Uh, I think the darkest coat out of the litter, possibly. I'll look around a little bit. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. These two also have pretty dark coats. But out of these three, yes, the darkest coat. So, yee. That is 2M. That mechanical keyboard go burr. Yeah, I have very, very loud keyboard noise. Type, 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 type. Yes, very good name submissions, as always. You all do a great job. Thank you guys all for sending them in. Hey, we got a couple. We got a couple in. I think we have... I think we have two for that. I think we have two for that name. Um, I think we already have that one submitted, Rhonda. So if you if you want to give a different suggestion, you can DM that to uh, to Rain, and she will pass it on to me. Um, hey, welcome back! I like Minecraft gaming just in time for name and pups. <laughs> All right. Um, but yeah, if, if that name I think we is a duplicate, so you can go ahead and message Rain about that if you want to have a different name submitted instead, because that one is already in the poll. It do be a very fitting name, though. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Veil, I think, is how we'll pronounce that. So uh, 2M is going to be called Veil. All right. Oop. Oh, goodness, I always forget how this works. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we have Veil. Next up, we have 3M, which I think... Oh, goodness. <laughs> Just clip right into Puma. Uh, so that is 3M. Yeah, it usually goes in order, I think. Look at these two being cute, too. Like, my gosh, y'all. I can't heck and handle the pups right now. They're just too cute. <laughs> so another one of the very dark-coated pups, though. So uh, probably a black coat, I would imagine. Um, we have, I think, three potential black pups. Maybe four if one of the ones that's reddish-tinted has that as well. Actually... I don't know. It, actually, quite a large percentage of these could be. Sometimes it's deceptive. Sometimes you have a gray coat that happens to have a lot of dark fur on it. But it seems like Puma has passed on quite a few of her, her dark coat genes, which is good for disease resistance, because having one black coat gene and one gray coat gene tends to be optimal. So this is 3M, though. All right, I will go ahead. We Thank you all for the name submissions. We got some very good ones. Um... And I'll go ahead and here we go. Uh, let's see for the next one. Let's see what we got here. Um, <laughs> uh, okay, so yeah, if we have if we get one more name, we will have at least two names for each puppy. So yee. Uh, if anybody else is going to submit them at the time, now is the good time to do so. All right. Um. I think, is this, I think, I, I'm trying to visualize, because most of these are animal names, the one we got is Kinkajou, and I'm pretty sure, like, I, I hope I'm visualizing the right animal, but it's been so long, um, I feel like I am, but I'm not 100% sure, oops, um, I think I'm picturing the right thing, I'm gonna have to, like, look that up in the background, <laughs> gonna have to look, look that up and see, um, but let's go ahead and we'll put these two in here. Um, right, let's see. E, very good suggestions all the way around. Um, and let me take a look in a second here because I think we've got an, an alternative name here. Um, oh, is it closed? Uh oh. No, it should it shouldn't be closed. Oh, if you already sent one in though, you can't send in a second one. It's limited to one per person. Are these? Yeah, these are the animals that I'm thinking of. They're like kind of a. What is it? It's t it's telling me they're related to like coatis and raccoons. <laughs> um, they are mammals and they're kind of a almost lemurish sort of looking thing. <laughs> I had a picture in my mind. I think I saw them on Zabumafu when I was a kid. I know I saw them on some sort of animal thing. And I feel like that's the sort of thing you would see on Zabumafu, which is definitely a show that I watched a lot as a kid. <laughs> 
Um, so I feel like that's, uh, I, I'm glad I remember that because it's been a long time, but I feel like that's probably where I saw it. All right, looks like we're gonna call this one links. So um, the, oops, goodness. The second puppy here, 3M, is going to be called Lynx, and I'm definitely not going to get him confused with my friend Lynx. <laughs> oh goodness, Caps Lock, hello. <laughs> uh, definitely, definitely not going to not going to do that. All right, so next up we have 4M, which is, I think, yes, Bear Boy. <laughs> Uh, that be bear boy here 4m. He has a teddy bear uh, will we, Let me go check and see what name got submitted here. All right All right, so we have another name suggestion here too, but uh, let me submit the last ones from this one So we did those All right. Uh, I think this one um, <laughs> This one the the options well, uh, let me it there so we can still see him. This one I think we've got uh, <laughs> we've got a couple of um, probably pretty fitting options so um, oops, uh, nope please let me type <laughs> all right all right let's see I'll go ahead and put these in and here we go <laughs> uh, no surprises here <laughs> if you've seen these names going in um yep yep <laughs> it, it'll be fine it'll be fine watch Lynx herself actually show up and have eternal confusion <laughs> That'll, that'll be fun. that'll be funny. Uh, she and B did show up for the last one they, they managed to pop in for a little bit so who knows we might seem around. <laughs> I know the fact that they can carry the 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 bear. It's just like the most incredible thing. I love it so much. Like, I, I I you guys told me they could do it, but I still was so underprepared to actually see it. Like, oh, it's just so cute. <laughs> it's so cute, you guys. It's so dang cute. I wasn't ready. <laughs> I was not ready. Hey. Oh yeah, that's right. You submitted Puma's name. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, that's gonna be cool for, for folks who are sticking around, too. You might get to see some of the uh, Wolves You Guys Have Helped names show up in the, um... <laughs> oh, that's a very close poll! Holy smokes! Wow, lots of channel points! My gosh! <laughs> uh, goodness! Goodness! Uh, thank you for all the channel point submissions! <laughs> oh my goodness! I, and that was with thought. Wow! <laughs> Oh my goodness, this one seems like it was a bit of a back and forth. Um, that's a lot of channel points. And it was very close. Okay. <laughs> wow. Uh, but it looks like in the end, Teddy is the winner by just a little bit. Uh, don't worry. Was, I'm sure we'll have plenty of other chances to name other puppies. Um, goodness. So we have Teddy. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, very, very much... Oh my gosh, <laughs> uh, that that was a heck of a battle. Uh, that's probably the most intense channel point back and forth that we have seen, but thank you guys for the name submissions. I'll go ahead and submit those. And then next up we have the girls. So we have 2F and 3F, let's see. Uh, kind of a little bit, well, no, she's, we have like slightly darker and slightly lighter colorations because I think, um, I think that's Veil vale and, um, it's gonna take me a bit to get used to the name. Veil and Lynx, I think, are both slightly darker, but uh, we have, I think, a slightly lighter coat. Maybe it's just the lighting. I don't know. There's three puppy or four puppies that look very, very similar, and I'm gonna forever struggle to tell them apart. I'm sorry, babies. <laughs> uh, but let's see. So we have this is um, this is two F, and we'll go ahead and I think the uh, whoops. Let me put this so that we can actually see her. Um, let's see. Alright, and we have, I think we'll do that one, and we can do, alright, sheesh, that was a higher channel point price too, <laughs> y'all went wild last time, <laughs> alright, let's go ahead and we will start the um, poll there, and uh, I'll see what you guys want to name her. <laughs> wow, some of y'all, some of y'all were absolutely wild in that poll. 
<laughs> My goodness, I... I, I've not seen anything like that yet. <laughs> thank you guys all for the, thank you guys all for the commitment. <laughs> Pop naming streams do be a drain on the point supply. Um, that this is probably the biggest thing people spend them on. <laughs> oh my goodness! Wow. <laughs> lots of people spending lots of channel points on this. All right, I think we the poll almost be done. We'll see in just a minute here. Oh my goodness. People spent most of their channel points on the, the poll between Teddy and Bear. <laughs> oh my goodness, yep, channel points go burr. I'm glad you guys are excited. Uh, I, I'm very glad you guys are excited. Don't worry, I'm sure we'll have plenty of other chance to name a pup bear. Alright, and it looks like Pixie is the winner here. So we'll go ahead and uh, 2F will be called Pixie. I always forget how the selection works. Alright. Uh, so we have Pixie, and then next up we have oh, two F is a little or three F is a little bit more reddish in color. Um, oops, I keep forgetting not to do that one. Uh, but let's see here. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, save up your channel points while you have the chance. You never know when you're gonna need them. All right, we've got hey perfectly. We have two names left. So let's do. Um, I think we'll do these two. Boop, 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 boop. And... Put the names in. Alright, here we go. Okay, let's see. Yeah, we do have we do have another pixie, I think. So that we'll see if that we'll see if either of them ends up being air. We will see. Um, oh, rain! How many rain has fifty k channel points? <laughs> yeah, I suppose it's been almost a year, and rain has been here for pretty much every stream for pretty much the entirety. So I'm not surprised, but also my goodness. <laughs> I'll see you later, Echo. Thank you for joining us. I'm glad, glad you're able to hop in. All right, yeah. <laughs> Rain probably will not. I, as I think being a sub, I think, also gives you a multiplier on that, too. So, uh, channel points go burr. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Hey, I'm glad you're able to name one of the puppies. Yeah, thank you guys all for the awesome name submissions. Uh, again, if you didn't have your pick this time, there will be other chances. Uh, we do get a lot of options most of the time, so I cannot make any guarantees, but you can always submit again if you so desire to. And then we have Rainbow. Thank you for the channel point submission here. Uh, we'll be naming this pupper Rainbow, for, so 3F will be Rainbow. There we go, if I can type. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have 5M, who's over here. Uh, again, a slightly darker coat, and it looks like, go ahead, uh, oops, nope, not here, nope, ow, oh, dang it, <laughs> clicking wrong buttons, y'all, I'm clicking the wrong buttons, all right, um, all right, and then the last options we have, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off redemptions, because we are finishing up, um, And here we go. All right. Um, yeah, that <laughs> that is true. Rain has uh, Rain has been earning channel points since the very beginning. <laughs> Big boy. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is the this is the large lad. This be the um, six pound puppy, uh, all the way up to six pounds. And I think Pixie is a small. Oh, that's a fitting name for Pixie being the smallest. Then <laughs> I don't know for sure if she's a rent or not, or if she just be a little bit small but we shall see. Yeah, <laughs> pebble for the big boy. <laughs> we'll see, uh, we'll see which one gets chosen, see which one gets picked here. We are like just barely gonna get through pup puppy name before it, before it time, puppy name and maybe mark some territory and then it, it's gonna be time to wrap up. <laughs> when you have six pups to name, it do be taking a while, but I'm glad we are we're able to do it. I'm glad, hopefully y'all are enjoying um, Enjoying participating. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> we have small names for the big boy. Oh my goodness. Oh, channel points go burr again. Oh my goodness. Endless Creeks popping in with a lot of the channel points. Holy smokes. The well, it looks like we're going to be calling him Ocelot then. So, 
Uh, we will go ahead and uh, name him. So we have Vale, Lynx, Teddy, Pixie, Rainbow, and Ocelot. My gosh, that's a lot of pups. We haven't had uh, six puppy litters since Peregrine's days. Uh, but these are going to be the puppers that we have. Let me just uh, get my Twitch set up again. And here we go. Here be the babies. Oh, they're all, they're all running over to Koji. Oh, I'm still on puppies. Oh, goodness, Teddy. 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 <laughs> Teddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There's always that one pup, and I think Teddy's already made a name for himself. <laughs> that always kind of scares me, because whenever I have one puppy that just stands out, like, I get that extra bit more paranoid. Oh, no, I don't want to stick it in the den. Taking care of the, this teddy bear just as much as I am the other puppies. <laughs> it always kind of scares me a little bit, because, uh, yeah, if there's- Oh, Pixie's gonna go play with the bear! Oh, the puppies really do be loving the bear! Alright, how are we doing on, um... Okay, we need a little bit more food. Let's let's feed a little bit. I don't think it matters which puppy we feed. Oh, Koji's gonna also help feed. Because uh, I think the ones that need it will find it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, Teddy! <laughs> Teddy! Teddy! My guy! Please, for the love of all that's good! <laughs> oh, my goodness! Uh, yeah, I, I think I know which puppy is gonna be the troublemaker. <laughs> yep, back to, back to huge litters, back to chaos. Uh, we will see. Koji, are you growling at them? Oh no, Lynx is running off now too. Oh my goodness. Ocelot! Oh! Oh my goodness, I may have sp No, I still have Lynx! Hold on! <laughs> I can't deal with this. Too many puppies! Puppies running everywhere. Alright, I think if everybody is pretty good on food, which they are, we're gonna go ahead and we will woof them in the den. We will try and, um, I'm thankful we're only playing on challenging for this time. Pray for Teddy to behave! <laughs> the pray for bears emote is gonna gain a whole new meaning from this litter in particular. I love it. <laughs> um, is Koji gonna want to stay back with him? We'll have to see. I just want to do a little bit of territory touch-up and maybe at least reclaim some of these. So we'll go do that really fast. In fact, this one... Oh, there's a bison carcass, too, it sounds like. And is that... I don't know if that's a new um, new thing or if that's bear. Um, I think that's just the, the bear. Oop. Yeah, that's just the bear. Okay. Uh, somewhere around here... Oh, there's an elk bull carcass, actually, up here. All right, Koji's gonna hang out by the den, seems like. Oh, that's the bear. That's what's going red. Okay. And we will just do a quick sweep for some territory, make sure that's all going well. Oh, wait... Oh, that that smell is the okay. That's the regurgitated food. I was like, what? Why isn't it? But that would be why. All right. Um, I think the wind shifted away from the bison carcass too. Unfortunately. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Um. Yeah, this is absolutely gonna be chaos. Yeah, excellent use of the emote. All the puppy tracks all over the place. All right, let's just do a quick sweep around. Maybe try and get a little extra food if we can and um, make sure that we are marking the territory where we can. So I think around here, oh, when it's flood stage too, we gotta be kind of careful of that. That makes it a little bit more difficult to get around. Um, so Puma do be a pretty bold wolf. I remember her being bold as a puppy. I'm pretty sure she, she do be a bold wolf and it seems like a lot of her children have inherited that trait. So this could be interesting. <laughs> this, this could be a time. Uh, bold plus large litters. I guess we kind of had that with Peregrine because that's how Puma got here. But yeah, I'm, after, after Frodo's small calm litters, except for Zeus, uh, I'm I'm not gonna be used to this. It's it's gonna be absolute shenanigans all over again. It is going to be a time, and uh, I'm not ready for it, y'all. <laughs> we'll we'll see how this goes. It's probably good that we're starting off on challenging because that'll give us a little bit of chance to um, a little bit of chance to get. Oh, hello, thing that I smell. Thing that I smell. Toy shovel. There's a toy shovel around here somewhere. Smelly thing. Where's the smelly thing that smells? All right. Ah, uh, thank you for joining us, Rhonda. We'll see you later. <laughs> uh, all right, so it do be about time to wrap up. We're just gonna finish this little bit of territory marking and grab the shovel. Is this, man, this is like, this is like, I had toy shovels like this as a kid. Uh, I remember that. We got a shovel. Den digger for clawless animals. True though, true though. Yeah, I think we can take the items across. We carried the bear across earlier. 
um, otherwise it'd be a little inconvenient, but we're gonna bring this back. Our, our whole den is just gonna be full of human toys for the puppies. That That's gonna be something. Oh, that's a coyote. You do not get to take your, the shovel. Man, imagine if the coyotes could steal, like, the, the toys and things. I'd be very upset. I would I would not be happy. I think I understand why, why dogs guard their stuff now. If the coyotes could take these things from me, I would riot. I think, I think Puma's got, she is a bold wolf, but she's very playful sort of bold, I think. Like, she's not aggressive. She just doesn't fear things. She'll pick a fight if she has to, but like she's not gonna go out of her way to um, to fight someone just because she wants to. Most of the time, she's pretty content to not. Um, but my goodness, she would have an all-out war with the coyotes if they started stealing these toys. Like she absolutely will collect and hoard them. Yeah, the toys, uh, the the human stuff spawns in this update, and so the one we have right now is a toy shovel. Oh, this is the uh, the wagon trail. This is the wagon trail. Hey. Um, but yeah, the, uh, the toy shovel is one of the new items in this update. We'll probably just go up here and then finish up, I think. Uh, we'll bring this back to the den, but we'll mark the one more over here, and then we'll, we'll work on marking more of it later on. Um, but yeah, it's, it's not just toys. There's, there's other stuff, like we found a bucket in the other one. Um, I think there's binoculars in Amethyst Mountain. Uh, but it's, it's not just toys, but the ones we found right now are teddy bear and now a toy shovel. <laughs> yeah, Puma just guarding the toys. Not 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 just her children. She's also protecting her children's toys now, <laughs> and and hers. They she has fun too. She she enjoy play with them. <laughs> uh, that's very much. The, oh, hello. Oh, it's over here. Huh? Where? Where's that post? Where's that post? Oh, up here. Okay. That's why I ran by it. Yeah, scavenger hunt objects. That's what they're called. Yeah, if they take Teddy's bear, we riot. <laughs> oh, goodness. That is, that, is a, that is a good way to get absolutely demolished by an angry mama wolf. <laughs> yeah, the reds, the red scent spores are coming out of the... We're carrying the shovel right now. So that's, um, we're smelling the, the thing that we're carrying. <laughs> we'll probably accumulate these little by little, so it'll be, it'll be fun to see which ones we find. I don't know if we'll find them all in the first one or not. We'll have to see. Oh, there do be elk here. Uh, can we get across here more easily? Don't want to run right into the elk spike. Bull? No, these are just bull elk. They're just, no. Leave me be. Leave me be. They're probably fairly weak because it's spring, but still, leave me be. Don't heck around with me. I don't want to mess with you. That's not why I'm here. <laughs> um, yeah, no, no stealing, no stealing Teddy's bear. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only his siblings get to play with it. As long as he decides to share. <laughs> Hopefully he's pretty good at that though. He's letting Pixie play with it earlier. Imagine if he just like guarded the <laughs> guarded the thing and wouldn't let any Was there just No, I think I just saw green scent spores. I thought we just like ran past a cougar or something. I was like what? But I don't think we did. I think I just saw scent spores floating by really fast. So yee! Oh, there's Koji. We are almost back. We'll bring back the shovel and then we'll go ahead and wrap up because I think yeah, we got the whole side of the map marked. There's one more that we'll have to Oh, something's got a hair. It could be coyotes. Whoa! In the rocks. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this up because it do be getting to be about that time again. So we're gonna end off here for today. So thank you guys so much for watching. There's Teddy. Is he gonna go straight for the bear? He might. We'll see. Uh, let's say hello to them. And uh, say quick, quick goodbye to the puppies before we wrap up as, as Teddy just disappears into the unknown. Sir? Hello? Oh, Rainbow's playing with the bear. All right, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap this up before anybody wanders too far off. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And if you're watching, even it, well, whether you're here on YouTube or on Twitch, don't forget to drop a follow and uh, turn on notifications for the stream so that you can see when we are going live. But uh, I will see you guys next time. Hope you've enjoyed. And until then, this is Jay, over and out.